Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show, and today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. As usual, well, I mean not all the time, but we're going to keep it plant-based, we're going to keep it healthy, and that's it. By the time I wake up and decide that I want to do a video and then get stuff set up to do it, it's like super late. So it's it's already 11.08 and I haven't eaten anything yet. This is what's on the menu. I'm gonna do a tofu scramble with like a with a piece of toast with this bread. Silver Hills Bakery bread. This is like the 12 grain. And um, I'm also gonna do a green smoothie with some organic spinach and like two bananas. Okay, so my tofu scrambled toast is basically done. So I'm just gonna do my smoothie and I've already showed you basically like my simple green smoothie, but I also have some of this green superfood powder, which I love by Amazing Grass. And I'm gonna add a scoop of that because it has caffeine, but it's all natural. So then I'm just gonna blend, just gonna blend that smoothie up and eat because I'm fucking hungry. And there you have it, my tofu scramble and my spinach banana smoothie. <clears throat> also, you guys know this from my first what I eat in a day, but here is, what is this, a gallon? Whatever, 64 ounces of water in this whole thing. So I like to fill it up at the beginning of the day and have it drank by the end of the day. It's about like six, I think it's like six glasses of water. So here's the first class. Time to eat! Whew, you guys, it's 1.12. I'm so tired. I've been partying way too much this month. So much like concerts and stuff and like just like fun that I'm fucking exhausted. It's like, it really is true. If you don't, as you're getting older, like I'm almost 30, uh, if you miss a night of sleep, like if you get like four hours of sleep for one night, it takes like two to three days to recover. That's why my voice is like a little scratchy. So I have to drink some coffee because I'm just fading. I'm fading fast. Mm. I thought maybe I would show you guys how we make coffee in this house. So we switched to cold brew because it has a lot less acidity and I have some uh, acid reflux issues and Dan loves iced coffee. So we have this contraption. I got it on Amazon for like 15 bucks, although you don't need it. You can just, as long as you have a strainer, you can just put coffee grinds with water and measure it that way. But I think this gives you the best result. We basically fill the mesh part like three fourths of the way to the top. I like to stir the grinds around to kind of get them more incorporated and get them all like soaked. And then I fill the water all the way to the very top. And then you let that sit for eight to 12 hours. We'll usually let it sit for about 12 hours. And then that's it. And we always have our amazing jar of cold, organic, fresh coffee. We like to keep it simple. None of this Keurig jazz. A lot of the time when you, when you, when you roast coffee or whatever, when you use like a Mr. Coffee, it burns the coffee and it tastes super bitter. And I think doing cold brew is really easy and um, you taste the flavors of the coffee more. And obviously, I've already told you guys, we love this flax milk. I was thinking about it the other day, and like, remember when almonds, everything almonds was like so trendy as like a healthy alternative? Almond flour, almond milk, almond, there was another almond thing that everyone was like freaking out about. But if you think about it, almonds take so much water and resources and energy to like farm them. So while it might be healthier than dairy, it's not good for the environment. Oh, almond butter, almond butter. Everyone loves almond butter. This is good because since I'm vegan, it has omega-3s in it. It's fortified with calcium, it has vitamin D, it has vitamin B12. So this is really good for me. And now Dan is not a milk drinker anymore. So little victories, little victories. I gotta start thinking about what I'm having for lunch. Hmm, and we're back. Okay guys, it's now 3.36. My energy is finally like picking up, but as you can see, I'm eating lunch really late. We have something exciting going on in the kitchen. 
I didn't want to just do like another salad. I didn't want it to be boring. I wanted to show like a more fun thing that I sometimes eat. So we're doing some sushi. I'm gonna show you how to make it. I already like pre-cut and cooked some of the stuff so this wouldn't take like a thousand years. I have a half cup of quinoa, some avocado, uh, cucumber, sprouts, carrots that I just julienned, and some pickled purple cabbage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay, so it's 7.22. Uh, I'm gonna get my workout in and then I'm gonna have dinner. I have no clue what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for, but I just need like a little tiny snack before a workout. And Dan has some rice pilaf he made. So I'm gonna eat a little bit. You guys, we're back. <laughs> And please don't judge me, but it's 9.30 and I'm just now eating dinner. Whatever, man, because I'm gonna go to bed at like midnight, so I'm eating at nine. Fuck it. I'm all red because I had a fast but furious workout, but it was really good. So I think for dinner, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do some rice, some lentils, and some pineapple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grill some pineapple on the, um, on the cast iron skillet. Water boiling, lentils soaking, and I'm about to cut this pineapple. The way you can pick out a pineapple, because a lot of times you get fruit here that's not ripe, I can smell the pineapple. So I learned a tip that when you are picking out a pineapple to look for ones that look kind of moldy at the bottom, and I think maybe moldy at the top, and that's how you know they're ripe. Time to dig in. Mmm, yummy. Oh, also, this is the last of the pitcher that I showed you earlier today, the last glass. So after this is done, I'll have gotten all my water in. I feel like that's a good amount that's easy to drink in the day. People are like, oh, I like to start the day with a gallon of water. I'm like, how? How do you do that? Thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show, what I ate in a day. I hope you got some good recipe inspiration. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. What are you doing? I'm making a cucumber. It's gross.